Hello friends. I am still playing around with pairings, but this is going to be the last, um, for this evening anyway. Um, so I've taken out the Sacred Mysteries Chakra Oracle, I think it's called. It's these cards. So what I have here is fear and bliss. So all I did was um, I just took the deck out, split it, and then took the card that came out on top and the card that came out on bottom. So what I've got here is the, I'm going to do the Kawaii Tarot. So normally what I would do with this deck is I would pull one card and I would go to the guidebook and I would spend some time communing with the guidebook because it is um, a pretty good guidebook. And if I was gonna pull cards, I would take questions essentially from the guidebook or questions that came to mind as I was reading the guidebook. I would come up with a question and then I would take it to a tarot deck. So these cards, I usually just pull one and they are for contemplation um, and read the guidebook, but we're gonna, we're going to play, we're going to try it, and I'm going to go to the Kawaii Tarot. Now, this deck is not very childish, and the Kawaii Tarot looks childish, but has been brutal. And I'm not going to shuffle it again, but I'm going to split it, and I'm going to take stuff off the top. So for fear, it's got Ten of Swords. Well, that makes sense. Eight of coins, okay, yes. And two of swords, okay. Now, that may not seem like much or whatever, and they, it looks, they look kind of absurd together. <laughs> so you've got, you've got Kali, and you've got these little creatures here. So they look kind of absurd together. But they're talking to each other. This makes sense to me in my current situation. That makes sense to me. So I'm just going to write it down. Not not the meaning or anything, but just um, uh, the sacred mysteries chakra oracle with, you just never know, Kawaii Tarot. <laughs> it works. That works for me. Um, how about, would it work for Bliss? We have the Hermit. Oh, and look at that. Bliss and the Hermit. And this is a Snow Leopard. So again, it work, I mean, all I'm doing is pulling the next three cards. The Ace of Swords and the Moon. Oh, there's my Stalker these days, the Moon card. I'm going to pull one more. Seven of Swords. To me, that's what's, what to take and what to leave behind. It's going into her hermit mode. Austerity. Interesting. Um, so yeah, that works. The Kawaii Tarot works. Like I said, you just never know. All right, so then, based more on color, so the Kawaii Tarot I, I chose mainly because even though it, it is this little child-y looking deck, You know, it has been pretty tough on me, and and the Sacred Mysteries Chakra Oracle can get pretty um, blunt with me also. What's interesting, if you just look, this is just what happened to be on the bottom of the um, Groovin, Groovin weight? Trippin weight, Trippin weight. And I don't, can't quite hold them together. It's hard to see because of the glare, but their colors actually do go fairly well together. And so that's what I was thinking um, in choosing the 
um, trip and wait to see what it would do with um, this deck was mainly because it, um, both decks tend to have quite strong zingy colors. Although the trip and wait is more bright colors um, than the chakra oracle. So that's all the shuffling I'm going to do. What do we have for fear? We have the eight. And again, the colors go well together. I don't know that it's going to make sense, but the colors go well together. So the eight of wands, the queen of swords, and the ace of cups. And no, that does not make sense. It might have made sense for bliss, kind of, but no. For bliss, I have the sun. Oh my goodness, and look at those two together. It's almost absurd. <laughs> oh, okay, sun, the fool, potentially, in the seven of pentacles. I'm going to call that a no. I can't do it. I can't do it. In fact, the sense that I get from that pairing is goofiness. Goofiness. All right. Um, lastly, one more, and I am going to shuffle it just because I've already pulled so many cards from it here recently, is the Herbal Tarot. And the reason that I'm bringing out the Herbal Tarot is because um, it's, it's one of those truth-telling decks, just like the Chakra Oracle is. A telling you what you don't want to hear, whether you like it or not kind of deck. Um, just as the Clyde Tarot is, the Herbal Tarot also can be that for me. So let me give it a shuffle here, a riffle, and then I'll just split it and we'll see what happens. Okie dokie. Fear. We have um, Five of Cups, Seven of Cups, and I'm guessing this is Temperance, Echinacea. These are trimmed cards. Yes, temperance. So I trimmed them so they don't have the tarot card associations. I mean, it's a woman with her foot in the water, so. Um, and I have I had written the names of the cards or symbols for the cards on them, but I couldn't read it with those with these glasses. All righty then. Yeah, uh, I'm not quite feeling it. I feel like the Kauai Tarot was doing a better job of hitting the nail on the head. So for Bliss, I have uh, the Hanged Man, the Three of Wands, and the Devil. I would say this. I don't think it functions as a clarifier. It might be an interesting deck to use. Um, again, as I said, when normally when I get this deck out, when I get this deck out, I just choose one, go to the guidebook, and from that guidebook, uh, come up maybe with some questions that then I would ask a tarot. I could see using the herbal tarot to answer questions in a separate spread, but I don't think it's doing that good of a job of clarifying the cards as they're coming up. So that's my thought on that. So there we go. Again, another weird pairing between the Chakra, Sacred Mysteries Chakra Oracle, and the Kawaii Tarot. But I am leaving it at that, and that is it for tonight. 
enough messing around with cards. Take care, everyone. See you again soon. Bye-bye.